Aha. Again, it's Wandile here, and he's about to give you guys a solution on exercise 4.13. So this is the question right here. We gotta write a program that prompts the user to enter a letter and check whether a letter is a vowel or a consonant. So here are sample runs, right? Okay, so what I've already done is to create a class called exercise 4.13a, right? And then I decided to prompt a user to enter a letter. And then on this line here, this is the crucial line. What I'm doing, firstly, I'm checking if whatever the user gave me is a single character that's this is exactly why i'm doing that if the length of whatever the user gave me is one then we know that we're dealing with only one character right okay furthermore to that we check if whatever the if that single character is a letter by invoking the is letter method inside the character class so that method takes in a character right the one you want to check if it is a letter so again it simply pass that character right using input dot next dot car x which will return the character at a given position if we had to put something like one here of course we would get an exception and uh an index out of bond exception because the fact that it has passed the fact that it has passed uh this condition here it means definitely user input has a length of one and hence the minimum and maximum index is zero okay in case one of these two conditions they are not met let me put this to the next line in case one of these two conditions are not met right these two that one and this one here definitely this is gonna be the part that get executed okay however if we did get inside that if statement the next thing we will simply do will be to create a variable called character and I will simply go character dot I will simply call the two lowercase method what is it that I'm converting to lowercase it is actually whatever the user gave me why am I doing that first just before we get just before we go any further i may it's just that i want to make sure that you see here we have a capital letter p on our first sample run and the, on our second sample run we have a small letter so i want to make sure that my solution works regardless of of whether or not my that character is a capital letter right it has to work with both capital letters and small letters that's why of course i could have used the to uppercase method and deal with uppercase letters right okay i'll do that and then after that i simply go if character is equals to you know what i'm gonna talk about the wrong way i'm not gonna give out a solution you see one can decide to go if character is equal to say b or character equals to c or character equal to d so on and so forth and call i, I mean basically collect all consonants right and then on your if statements and then finally and then finally you display that is a consonant right and then on your else statement you just go system dot out dot print it's a vowel right however you see how serious it would be to 
take care of consonants on your if statement on your if statement as opposed to dealing with vowels on your if statement and then simply on your else statement and simply display that whatever that user gave us is a consonant you see this is more like what we had if you've been following my tutorial on this exercise i'm not quite sure what exercise was it i think it was exercise 3.28 where we were given two triangles i mean two rectangles and we had to tell whether or not the two triangles overlap into i mean overlap or we had to decide we had to tell whether our two triangles overlap or they don't right by don't i mean they don't intersect at all or maybe one triangle is in, is inside the other okay in that case like we had a choice like of either dealing with because we had diff three different cases we had to either deal with triangle one being inside triangle two that was case number one case number two was the two triangles intersecting in each other and case number three was the two triangles not touching each other at all so basically there was a right way perhaps there was a tedious way right there was the tedious approach and there was to deal with two triangles intersecting that took tons of lines as opposed to just dealing with the other two cases and put uh, the intersection case on your else statement. That way you won't have to bother about the logic of two triangles intersecting. I'm hoping I'm not uh, losing your attention, guys. I was just trying to point out the fact that, you see, right here, what we can do is we can simply check if uh a user input is is uh was, you can simply check if it is equals to b or equals to c or equals to d e f so on and so forth basically we can collect all different consonants and then put them on our if statement of course we will separate them by the or case we'll simply go if character is equal to that or character is equal to that then finally we will say if that condition is met we display that the character is a consonant but that is exactly what i don't want us to do here's what i want us to do i want to go if character is equals to a or character is equals to it's a b c r a or character equals to e or you see if you do it this way we'll will use less lines of code okay character e okay let me just copy and paste that just like that okay it seems like we're done we're done Ayo. Okay. Okay, back to my point. What I was saying is can we imagine how serious it would have been if we decided to take care of consonants, right? We'll simply put consonants on our our statement. Let me check out how do we go about this so P is there. I'll just go whatever the user gave us is a vowel. Oh damn. Why? I mean why? I don't want that. Is a vowel. So character is a character is no, I don't wanna put is over there. So character is a vowel. Otherwise You see, this is what I was talking about. Otherwise, character is a consonant. Consonant.
But if you had to do it the other way, though, you put this above on your, I mean, you, if we had to do it the other way, not taking care, by that I mean, if you had to take care of consonants on your if statement, then this would have been long. That what I was trying to point out, okay? Let's, I mean, what else is left for us to do? I think that is pretty much it. Right. Hmm. I think we got enter a letter. Enter a letter. Enter a letter. Great. Okay. Something like that. So we receive our letter. We check if it's equals to one and if it is a letter. Otherwise, we know it's an invalid input okay and once we there okay we'll simply display it it's about oh damn i mean this should be it it's a pretty straightforward problem i don't know maybe some of you might have found it difficult perhaps i'm the one who complicated oh, who complicated things even further by explaining a lot even when I don't have to, I know I find myself explaining. Okay, so let's put B and put let's basically put different characters here. So C is a consonant. Oops, oops, oops. In fact, you know what? There's a little mistake here. You notice, uh, what I decided to input is C, but then this thing is capital letter C, but then when it tells me what is it, that was inputs it that that I input at first it tells me I mean it gives me a, a small letter C uh, of course we can deal with that just by going just by using that as opposed to character because character is a modified version of user input why You want to tell me I did not? User input at zero is a consonant. Oh, I had to do it for the consonant too. Let's do it again. R is a consonant, okay? Small letter A is a vowel so on and so forth uh, everyone sees that we good we good we good we good we good that should be it for this tutorial I'll see you guys on the next one which is exercise 4.14 cheers i'm gone